Throughout our lives, we've experienced the unexplainable, from bright apparitions to dark entities, changing our perspectives on the afterlife. Now we seek answers and intend to capture evidence of paranormal existence. These are our paranormal experiences. The Batman Faulkner, or then the Cornwall Hotel, was constructed by John Pascoe Faulkner in 1824. It is the oldest brick building within the city of Launceston and is an excellent example of colonial architecture. Later improvements included a two-storey federation-styled facade with large circular windows, while the rear section of the building resembles an early Georgian brick structure with a hipped roof and closed eaves. Throughout the building's history, it has had many other functions besides being a place of accommodation. Over the 1830s, under J.E. Cox, the hotel functioned as a coaching service between Hobart and Launceston, while James Whitehead added assembly rooms which hosted banquets and balls. In 1849, the Batman Faulkner was the place where the Anti-Transportation Society formed, and later witnessed the first Launceston Municipal Council meeting from 1853. The building's modern title, Batman Faulkner, is named after two individuals who have historical importance regarding Australian history, or more specifically, Victorian history. While we do normally focus on the haunted buildings that we investigate, John Batman and John Faulkner are too important to Australian colonial history to pass up. John Pascoe Faulkner, born in 1792, England. In 1801, John's father was sentenced for 14 years, convicted for receiving stolen goods, and transported to the Australian colonies. The family accompanied the convict father, and in 1803 left England, hoping to start a new settlement in the Bass Strait. Arriving in 1804 at Port Phillip on board the British vessel Calcutta, the settlement was quickly abandoned due to miserable conditions. Leaving Port Phillip, they travelled to Van Diemen's Land, settling in Hobart. This is where Faulkner gained pioneering experience as a timber getter, builder, farmer and finally baker in 1804. However, his experiences were not all positive, as Faulkner unfortunately was convicted sentenced to 500 lashes and three years hard labour in Newcastle after assisting seven convicts escape. After release in 1816, he took up the bakery again, but quickly ran into financial and personal difficulties. In 1822, Faulkner and his new wife, Eliza Cobb, moved to Launceston, working as a builder and sawyer. In 1824, Faulkner constructed the settlement's first two-storey pub, the Cornwall Hotel, he even started a newspaper, the Launceston Advertiser in 1828, and for a period served as a bush lawyer. He also managed a horticultural nursery and conducted coaching services. Going forward a few years to 1835, Faulkner from his hotel in Launceston set his sights on the southern coast of the mainland. Arriving at Port Phillip on the 16th of August, the expedition travelled along the southern coast, heading northward for four days, until coming across a well grassed land, discovered up the eastern branch of the freshwater river, the Yarra. Faulkner negotiated with the local Wurundjeri tribe, trading commodities for 600,000 acres of land. However, the New South Wales governor declared the deal illegal and claimed the land for the Crown, naming the new settlement after Lord Melbourne. Faulkner again established a pub, a newspaper, and was one of the first members of the Victorian Parliament. Faulkner died in 1869. John Batman was born in 1801 in Parramatta, New South Wales. In 1816, he began as an apprentice blacksmith, but within a few months his apprenticeship lapsed and he became a jack-of-all-trades farmer for the next five years. In 1821, John and his brother Henry moved to Van Diemen's Land. John found his footing as a grazier, and by 1824 had enough capital to purchase a rural property in Kingston. 
Batman gained some prominence after assisting in the capture of the Bush Ranger Matthew Brady and by preserving leadership in the first conciliation campaign amongst Tasmanian Aboriginals. By 1835, Van Diemen's Land needed more meat for its convict population. Van Diemen's Land was fully grazed and Kingston was too rugged to be highly productive. So, through Batman's agency, the Port Phillip Association, they negotiated with the Port Phillip natives and claimed the Bellarine Peninsula on the 13th of June, aiming at developing the area. Returning to Van Diemen's Land on the 18th of June, Launceston, he learned that Faulkner would be settling near Point Nepean, on the opposite side of the bay. After establishing settlement on the eastern side of the bay through trade and investments, Batman became ill over the last four years of his life, dying in 1839. Batman's premature death allowed Faulkner to establish himself as Melbourne's major founder, 